morning vlog. I look like a wreck because I am so stressed. I've just decided every scab I have on my face from picking my face before is going to be picked today. I've been up since 7 a.m. It's currently 11.04 and I've been trying to call my apartment complex times so then I can figure out what the management review status is. So remember this big old thing we had of every day, what we were gonna do? I want more free days towards the end of my move. I actually already started packing everything I wanted from the kitchen. You guys saw that in the last video. That still needs to be done. Like that's not done or even close to being finished yet because I still have a lot of things to wrap in bubble wrap. I have a lot of things to pack away. Like there's just a lot more to do, which is fine. But yesterday I didn't do the clean out my dresser or nightstand or pack out my nightstand. So we're going to do that today because what today's task was, was <laughs> washing all my dirty clothes. So then I could start like packing things. And then I'm also going to decide on like what bags I'm going to bring, like backpack. I know I'm bringing my duffel bag. I'm just trying to get everything in order. So then when I do start packing everything up, we're good to go. So that's kind of the game plan today. A lot more added on today, but I also have more time. So let's go do that. Yay. just saw me start the first load of laundry. I really only have one more load of like dirty clothes and it's a really light load of white clothes. Um, I just kind of want to give you an update. This is how much we've packed. We still have the coffee machine to pack. Some of these platters, bowls, my birthday cup, um, this tray glass. And then we have some other like baskets unbreakable over here in the kitchen. You can see back over there. So, and then we have my Lavelle box I'm gonna bring with me. Next, what we're gonna do, I'm just trying to like get this all out in the open because my dad's actually on a really important meeting right now so I can't vlog and talk while I go through my um, dressers down here. So we're gonna go ahead and start going through a dresser um, that I'm gonna take with me. And it's actually gonna sit like right outside my bedroom. It will be easier to show you like when I get into the apartment um, or the townhome that that will be right outside my bedroom kind of for like storage it will be my music all that stuff We go through that we're gonna go through some drawers down here and then we're gonna go through a huge closet that I need done so um, I'm gonna go upstairs get my list get the tripod and set you guys up for success so let's go <laughs> nightstand so we have this nightstand we have a nightstand over there but i do have to i'm planning to pack a lot of it in here because there's not much that i'm actually taking um but i gotta rewrap 
my record player stuff because it's fragile and I bubble wrap it. So we're gonna do that in there. Okay, we just finished packing the fragile box and then also packing some um, a photo of me and my dog and then my dog's paw print because um, I will always carry that with me no matter where I go. That was my first dog. Um, so now you can see we have kind of a little mess on the ground because a lot of that can go into the office supplies, bathroom supplies, and the kitchen, like popcorn box does not belong in any of my room decor stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and organize that. We have to go measure the bed in my brother's room because I think I'm gonna take that one um, instead of a twin. I kind of want a queen. I was realizing how small a twin was. So I think I'm gonna take a queen. Makes more sense to me. I'm kind of saving the decor that I have over here for a different day because I'm not ready to pack any of that away yet. I probably should just get on it. But again, we have 17 days left. Um, take everything day by day. Packed my license plates away f that was in that pile. So yeah, nightstands are done. Let's um, keep going. We're kind of on the fast track. We've already done the dresser, the drawers that I needed to get through today and my night scenes and now it's just got to go measure that bed and figure out what I'm taking. Okay, one thing I did forget to do before we leave my room is to go through all the bags that I'm wanting to bring, like backpack wise, so that I know what I can pack and what I'm not packing and what I have to store. So I'm going to bring this clear bag because I know to get into some like athletic stadiums, you have to have a clear bag. 
I'm bringing this huge Lululemon because it's kind of like a good, like if I'm gonna go travel for a few days, like that's a good, if I'm driving somewhere to travel for a few days. This backpack, I don't think I'm gonna bring this one because I have so many backpacks. I have this backpack, I'm not gonna bring it. I have this Gucci duffel I'm bringing, this Victoria's Secret bag I'm gonna bring. I have my USA Petite bag, wow, that's old. This USA Petite. And then I have my Texas Petite duffel bag I am going to bring. That was easy peasy. Now I know what I can pack in. So we are now switching the load over and then putting in a new load. Okay, so a dimension. Let me just put the camera. Oh my god, this room gets such good lighting. What the flip? He's got a really soft bed. The dimensions of a queen bed is a 60 wide, 80 tall, um, or long. So we're gonna go ahead and measure this bed. Sorry, Cole, if you're watching this, I need a big bed. And dad said he'll buy you a new mattress. Okay, that is 80. And just for giggles. Okay, that is 60. This is a queen bed. So I will be taking this bed. It is very comfy. Okay. Awesome, we just found our bed. Sorry, Cole. It's mine now, buddy. I'll put a twin on his, he'll be fine. So the reason I had to measure that, this is a total different day, but I have to go through and look at what are like what up here is a queen fitted sheet stuff um queen stuff and i'll have to pack a lot of this stuff anyway so i just wanted to just double check if we did have a queen which means we have queen sheets somewhere so that is all that we phoebe that is all that we had to do today i will see you tomorrow with whatever we have to do next Good morning vlog. So this is something that I was not expect to be doing this close to moving, but we, um, so anyways, before we get there today, we have clean and pack the drawers downstairs. So we've kind of already done that. We're waiting for the bubble wrap to get here so I can finish the kitchen. So we're kind of like already on schedule, a little bit ahead of schedule, according to this calendar. So Back to what I was saying, this apartment complex is not getting back to me. Um, we went the corporate application route. That could be part of the problem, but they're also not communicating with me. I've talked to um, an agent friend of mine that I went to lunch with. Um, he's saying no go. My boyfriend's like, I don't think so. And my dad is very like, I don't want you living there. Unfortunately, it's one of the best apartment safety wise and it gives me everything I want so I just need to search for a different apartment hope that they get back to me let my dad kind of do his thing um so let's go apartment search today I guess and I th I'm literally so close to flying out to Florida and figuring this out but I don't have time no okay y'all I have a little update for you we found four apartments. We went back to one of the ones that I like actually went and toured the last time I was in Florida. We nailed it down. We found four. We nailed it down to just two after this one. Um, one of them is another townhome. And one of them is just a plain one bedroom, one bath. So... I have a virtual tour, that's why I'm all ready right now. I have a virtual tour in 30 minutes with the apartment that's just a plain one bedroom, one bath, like no townhome, no garage, which is 300 square feet less than what I've planned for moving in, which means all the boxes I've packed, I have to go open them and go back through them. 
and decide what I'm actually going to take, what is safe to take. Um, if I do end up going with the townhome, I can keep packing and packing. For now, everything is on pause, um, unfortunately. So, and my manager just got into town this morning, not here, but back home this morning early. So, I'm not going to bother him to go in and um, help me out. He needs sleep. I'm going to respect that. Um, we'll talk probably tomorrow about this all. Here's my problem. This townhome is the last townhome in all of this area. Regardless of the, forget about the one place that I've been trying to get a hold of for a while. So we're gonna do this virtual call with the one bed, one bath. If that seems to be a good fit um, and they have garages, which I don't think they do, we will go ahead and um, try to get a hold of the townhome. And if I'm not hearing from them, then I'm going to have to move on and rethink my packing. Let's, let's keep working. Hey y'all. So I'm back with an update. Um, after it's 2.30 now. Last time we talked, it was 9 a.m. So a very long day of searching. I told you about how we went from four to two and now it's to one um so we're giving the first apartment complex a little bit more time to respond to the email that we sent um a few hours ago if they don't respond today we let them know that we're going to be moving on i'm waiting for this new apartment complex to get back to me on getting on a phone call really quick we could just figure out a few things i can get the deposit on this place because there's literally only one apartment left that's exactly what I want. I'm not gonna get a garage with this one. It is a little bit more than what the other one is but um it gives me more of a comforting feel and the lady I talked to actually lives on property and she says she loves it. It's her favorite one that she's lived in and so I'm just gonna give everything kind of the benefit of the doubt. With that being said, we now have to rethink our packing list. So probably not in this video. I mean, maybe a little bit in this video. It will come out with what I'm having to redo. But it, it looks like... Um, yeah, we're going to have to repack some things. I'm leaving some furniture behind. So yeah, I'll get that. Okay, so with deciding that this is probably the apartment we're going to go with, me and my dad have realized it's probably not a great idea to bring my couch because it doesn't fit, like, what my aesthetic would be in this apartment. We're at Nebraska Furniture Mart, so let's go look at some couches. Yay. That can be delivered to my front doorstep. Yup. So empty today. Okay, so I found a few couches that I liked. I definitely liked the blue one. I just, it was very comfy. It was an actual sectional um, and it had the chase, which the chase was comfy too. So that's great. Then there's this cream. It's like two chases put together. So it's like a bed couch, which I really like. Cause I like this color more than kind of like the navy blue. Cause that's kind of not my like color theme. I could make it that, but I mean, it's a really cute, comfy couch, but so is like the cream colored one. We're going to have to go home and figure it out, but they were both like around a thousand dollars, maybe 1100. So 